Okay, so we have y1 is equal to 4.0 sine 3.0x minus 2.0t and y2 is equal to 4.0 sine 3.0x plus 2.0t. So y1 plus y2 is equal to 2a, so that's 2 times 4, that's 8.0. Now sine, inside the sine we add these together and divide by 2, so that gives us 3.0x times cos. We subtract these from each other and divide by 2, so that gives us 2.0t. So this is the wave equation for our standing wave. And now we're asked at x is equal to 2.3 centimetres, what is a? So the cos function is going to oscillate between 1 and minus 1 as time progresses. So this is not contributing to our amplitude. Our amplitude is equal to 8.0 sine 3.0 x. And so this is equal to 8.0 sine of 2.3 times 3.0. Solving that on the calculator, making sure that the calculator is in radians modes, gives us 4.6 centimetres. Okay, now part B said that if one end of the string is at x equals 0, where are the nodes and where are the antinodes? We know that the nodes occur at 0, lambda over 2, lambda, 3, lambda over 2, etc. So all we need to do to work out where these are is work out the wavelength. Well, we know that k is equal to 3 in this case, and that is equal to 2 pi over lambda. And so lambda is equal to 2 pi over 3. And so the nodes will occur at 0, at a half of this, which is pi on 3, at 2 pi on 3, at 3 pi on 3, which is just pi. So at n pi on 3, for n is any integer. Okay, now the antinodes occur halfway between these. So they will occur at pi on 6 at halfway between pi on 3 and 2 pi on 3 is pi on 2. And so the general form for this one will be a quarter of a wavelength, so 2 pi on 3 times 4, n, where n is equal to 1, 3, 5, 7. So just simplifying this a bit, we have pi on 6 m pi on 6, where n is equal to 1, 3, 5, 7, will give us the positions of the antinodes.